Welcome back everybody to Fireborn Eternal. Uh, this is uh, my Tau Battlesuits Part 4. Commanders and Drones. Uh, these guys right now, are the, these are the two commanders I run in my army. Uh, they run the exact same gear. Uh, double missile pod, target lock, drone controller. Uh, I buy two uh, marker drones with them and uh, have them join a four-man unit of marker drones. Uh, this way it gives me... You know, six marker lights that hit on two up. Uh, I can move, shoot, move, you know, get around the table and, you know, kind of dish out some nice, successful marker light hits. Uh, you know, you figure they average five each unit. So, I mean, you know, if used correctly, you know, I'm ignoring cover. I'm adding the unit to hit on twos or better. Uh, you know, they, they definitely add enough marker light support to make my army function very precisely. Um... After my uh, last, uh, you know, three-round tournament I was in, I, I started to realize that marker lights hitting on a two-up are just amazing because you can now rely on your marker lights. You know, when you have a 50-50 chance with the, you know, the four-up, it's, it's just very inconsistent. You know, sometimes they do well, sometimes they don't. And, you know, when they don't do well, it, it, it hurts pretty bad. You know, you're losing the biggest strength of running the tower army. Uh, so these guys, uh, you know, I, I ran them a little differently before, but I decided... Uh, I wanted to kind of shrink down the uh, the general footprint, so I just ran, you know, a commander by himself. Uh, you know, throw him with a bunch of marker drones. You know, give him a target lock, so these kind of these kind of jump around with the the marker drones, and uh, you know, I light some stuff up, and the commanders kind of take some pop shots at, you know, maybe something I don't think my other units can take down, and want to add some, uh, you know, extra firepower against it, you know. Maybe, you know, take another wound or two off a monstrous creature, you know, just just some extra support. Uh, so these commanders, you know, kind of keep back, gives them a nice 36-inch range. Uh, you know, I thought about plasma, at least for these guys, but, you know, I, I just, with the marker lights, if I want to keep them back, you know, at 36 inches, I want my commanders to still be, you know, useful with the unit. So uh, I think these, uh, the way I run them, uh, the commanders with the six marker drones are about uh, 200 points each. Uh, you know, you figure 400 points sounds a little pricey, but for what they allow your army to do, uh, I really don't think it's that that bad. And you know, I run some vehicles that I usually hide behind and <clears throat> try to keep guys out of cover. So, you know, I, I expect people to try to shoot these things down. And you know, some games I'm sure they they'll go down fast. Sometimes they won't. But you know, I run two units for that reason. That way, you know, I can get some marker lights. I can take down the target I really need to. And you know, I have a you know, a couple, you know, marker drones in my missile pod units just just in case I need a couple extra hits and, you know, need to take something down or just just to have some marker lights a little bit more spread out throughout my army. So, you know, it kind of gives me some, uh, you know, redundancy and don't have to worry as much if one whole squad of these guys gets wiped out. Uh, but, you know, the commander's kind of in there to, uh, you know, if I'm taking some lighter fire, I might, you know, just take them on the commander, soak some wounds. You know, they got four wounds apiece, so, I mean, they can they can take a few hits before they go down. You know, granted, you know, strength eight's still going to, you know, pop off commander, but, uh, you know, these guys are great. You know, marker lights are hit on twos are better. Uh, you know, they can, you know, very mobile. You don't have to worry about, you know, your marker lights being set up, and every time you try to move them with the Pathfinders, you only hit on sixes, which, ugh, that's just horrible. And Pathfinders, with the five-up save they have now, and, yeah, they're just... I don't see how Pathfinders are, are really that effective anymore. You know, it's a, it's kind of the old town mentality to take Pathfinders, but, you know, the way I've been looking at Pathfinders is they're just, they're not worth the points anymore. You know, to really make them worthwhile, you know, you either have to buy a bunch of small units of them or, you know, buy a nice mass unit, maybe, you know, give them some special weapons, but, you know, still, you know, those are 11 points apiece. You know, they have crappy BS, you know, 50-50 chance to hit. So, you know, you're running a full unit of them, yeah, you might get, but five hits, or you might get none, or one or two, but, you know, 50-50 chances, you know, I really don't like, you know, a 50-50 chance to hit. It's it's not something I really enjoy rolling, because I've seen that go really, really bad. You know, sometimes it's good, but, you know, a two up, you know, there's not many times where you roll a ton of ones. It happens, but there's not many times, so, you know, this is kind of how I add all my marker light support into my army. Uh, like I said, the commanders with the target locks allow them to shoot something separate. So, you know, the drones will target something, the commander will target something else, and 
Now, the commanders can also target, you know, transport vehicles, so <clears throat> you go against a transport-heavy army. You know, I run the two units of missile teams, uh, you know, these two commanders, so, <clears throat> I mean, I'm dropping off roughly, uh, what's it, 24, 38, drink 7 shots uh, around if I want to, so, I mean, I'm definitely dropping out a lot of shots. I have great range in my army, you know, it's uh, very tactically flexible. Uh, you know, ha having that range ability is nice because you know, there's some times where you don't want to be that close and uh, a good situation I ran into was uh, not much I could really do about it, but I ran against four Dread Knights and, you know, Dread Knights, you know, run across the field and, you know, hit my front lines and, you know, decimate, well, not quite decimate, but they hurt really bad. Uh, and then, you know, the next turn they, they'd get, they'd be, you know, in close combat. Uh, you know, so having that extra range sometimes is nice to have, you know, allows you to keep back. You know, keep your suits a little safer, uh, you know. Every once in a while you do have to be aggressive when it comes to objectives and you can't be afraid to sacrifice what you have to. You know, <clears throat> as much as, you know, you might like your models and your squads, you really have to make sure that, you know, you're objective focused and, you know, any, units, uh, any unit can be sacrificed if it means winning the game. So, yep, well, that's how I run my battlesuit commanders and those are the last of my uh, suits in the army other than my Riptide, which I'll go over next. So, uh... If you enjoyed this, hit the like button, uh, leave a comment, love to hear some feedback, uh, subscribe if you'd like. Alright, well, have a good one, y'all.